I'll go first. A hundred years is a long time. And as we sit here, and as we sat outside, I couldn't help but think about in 1964, the first constitution of the Cook Flat tribe was put together. All of the past chairmen that we've had, all of the dreams and the hopes that they had, that we're able to carry out and continue on today. Various council members, various programs, Many things have come and gone, but we as Kukupa people are still here. Good, bad, indifferent, we survive. And there are many things imperfect, and we all recognize that. But as we stand in this building, as we look out of the field, this was nothing but dirt many, many years ago, and I know many of the children probably don't even know that. They have no idea what is here now and how it got here. And I think that is one of the things we thought about when we had the culture center, the museum, to always remind not only us, but to have something there for the children. Because there are those of us as adults, as elders sometimes, that we omit things or we say things a little different. Or we do things a little different. But at the end of the day, the Kukupa people will continue on. And it needs to be there for the children. Because they need to see the different ways that there was, that there is today, and that there will be tomorrow. A lot of people put a lot of hard work into this. I was looking at the booklet. A lot of people had input in that. I think it looks great. Not, not even that was easy to put together, but it was put together and it's there to document the history of our people. Maybe it's not to the standards that everybody wants, but it is a good history. And when you live it, you're proud of it, then it's always gonna have something meaningful in your life. So today I'm very grateful to be here, to be able to stand before all of you that are here. I see faces from out of town. For whatever reason you're here, if you're here to celebrate the day with us, or you're here to visit family, the fact that you took the time to be here with us, it's really good. We had our first Native American Day celebration on Friday at the North, and it was well attended. We wondered about that. There was some negativity, but we got over that. We want to go back to what we were, who we were. Look at how we got to where we are today. Not just the casinos, not just our enterprises. Who are we? What are we really about? And if we understand that and know that and carry that with us, this is going to go on forever. So I do want to welcome everyone here. I thank everybody for taking time out of their day to come and celebrate. This is a big day, a hundred years. And a hundred years from now, hopefully these young kids will be standing here doing the same thing and carrying on this tradition. And a hundred years from there, continuing on. This is just the beginning. We're here by the grace of God. And any one of us that says any different, not only are we Trying to fool the outside world, we're trying to fool ourselves. So I think that we're here for a purpose, for a reason. So I want us today, for whatever we have going on outside, what's going on in the world, there's a lot of bad things in the world, but we got to stick together and make things positive. So I thank you all for being here, and I believe the uh, vice chairman would like to say a few words. So I thank you and welcome you all for being here this evening. Thank you.